Howdy folks, welcome to Coffee and Tools, another crazy episode, and we man, we got a lot to talk about this week. This weekend, uh, I went yard sale hopping like I always do to pick up some tools, and I found, I keep running into these, and so uh, they're always broken, and it's the same break all the time, I guess, seems like it's exactly the same thing over and over again. So uh, we're going to do a hack today and see if we can fix this problem. So if you happen to see what a yard sale or yours is broken, maybe you can fix it now and you'll be able to use it. Other announcements this week, uh, yes we have mugs now and uh, with the Coffee Tool logo on it. I uh, also have these uh, t-shirts that make you look thinner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They make you look like you lost weight. And uh, they're all available at the store now. Uh, the site is uh, mycoffeeandtools.com and there's a small store with some t-shirts and stuff in there now for anybody interested in having a Coffee and Tools t-shirt. We haven't done too much with the store just yet, but more is coming and also some more giveaways and a lot of other, oh, lots of good stuff. Also have a brand new tool, uh, probably next week. And we're gonna do a review, take a look at it, see why you, me, and uh, anybody that does woodworking or even car body work stuff, we all need one, maybe two. So uh, that's gonna be an interesting show. I, I'm sort of curious to see how that's all gonna turn out for everybody, including me. This, uh, this is the situation here with the Ryobi. And it's, it's the same thing over and over again. So I'll show it to you. Uh, these collars, this is a 10 foot piece when it's all put together. These collars are plastic and of course, this one here from the trigger up, here's your, um, I guess we'll call this the male end, this is the female end, and they plug in and like that, and they tighten the collar up. The problem is these break. Well, not this actually. What actually broke on this one, usually it's the female. This one here is the one I usually see missing or broken. This one had both the female, so I thought, well, that's good, but the male was broken. So I, I took a look at the idea of making one on a 3D printer and you know, see if there's any parts available. Really couldn't find anything online, so I thought, well, the next thing to do is time for a hack. So here's where the male end would have been, and it broke off, and it looks like the, uh, the stop ring and everything is, is gone with it because th this is what it should look like is like that it should should have this end on it and it's totally off so now at this end this is where we need to plug in so I'll just show you quick what that would look like is like this and then you bring this up and of course the male male would be here and you you know tighten that up and of course all of this movement and stuff and pressure whatever with the chainsaw it breaks and so we're gonna take the collar off we're also gonna lose this we're gonna take this off as well and uh, then we're going to sleeve this with pipe and clamps and uh, see if that works. That should do the trick. Plus the pipe we'll use will be a little thicker so that'll reinforce from here to here so we don't put so much pressure on this electrical connection that's right here. So the first thing I'm going to have to do I guess is drill out these rivets so we can remove this lock ring because this ring and this piece here are I guess, ah, there we go. Functionally, uh, these two pieces aren't any good to us anymore. So I'm going to start with a 3 16 drill bit. I'm just going to drill these two uh, rivets out and uh, we'll see where we get to. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is take a 3 16 from our drill, one of our drill packs. I've got a bunch of these drill packs around. And I'm going to just use a real basic, cheap Ryobi. Uh, Electric drill. I like to keep these around every once in a while. And uh, I'm not going to clamp it or vise it. There we go. There's the head. Mm. Okay, get the other side. It's not even warm yet, so. This is Texas. The weather's out outside is hotter than what these are right now, so I don't want the fun police writing me about that. Now, that still leaves us with a lock problem because. I haven't got these out, but now I can see what size these are, and it looks like I can go right down through. It's not really going to be a problem. So. Oops, there we go. There's one. And, yep, there's two. And now the collar is now free, loose, gone, and the rivet is destroyed. So, so now we've got the collar off, and like I said, we're going to take this off as well. These are now uh, just set them aside. Maybe. Uh, Maybe somebody wants those. I don't need them anymore because I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'll show you the, the pieces we're going to use to put this together with. 
So these are the th three pieces we're gonna need. Uh, this is inch and a quarter from uh, Lowe's. And this is a pre-cut piece, two feet long, that you can get at Lowe's. I think they're around three and a half dollars. So that's a, not too bad an expense at this point. But you're also gonna need a couple of two inch uh, pipe clamps. Again, in the plumbing section at Lowe's, you know, and get these. These cost almost as much as this crazy pipe, I believe. I think they're around two, two and a half dollars a piece or something. Uh, but they're stainless steel. Ooh, yeah, last forever. So now we've got those two pieces. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is, of course, we'll check this, just make sure, but we're gonna take this, this half of this end. I want it up here for strength and I want the other half down here for strength. So I'm just gonna sleeve it up there like that and make sure it's gonna come up to about that. Now, obviously it's loose. So what I'm gonna do with a saw is we're gonna slice and I'm gonna slice a good six inches into this thing at each end so that the pipe clamps can actually squeeze this together and that way we can grab, the, the pipe will grab onto this surface. That's gonna be tight. And because this is such a, I'll show you this way too, it's a thick piece of pipe, don't kid yourself. This is a pretty good heavy. You know, I can't bend or you know do anything with this. It's good and strong. So this is gonna give me the strength and keep this thing held together. Now, there's one uh, downside to this whole thing. Obviously, once you do that, you are gonna have this piece and that connected for the rest of, well, for the for eternity, unless you take the clamps off and pull it apart or something. But, you know yourself, when I store something like this, uh, I already have a, a pole type cutter, but this is, a, this is a better one. And when I store this, I store it the whole length up on a rack inside my uh, garage, my, my work shed or my, my tool, uh, garden shed at that point. So there's really no big deal because usually I put this together and it just stays together. There's no reason to you know ever separate these pieces afterwards. I understand it's nice because you could take this down and make it small and three feet long and store it somewhere you know in a tighter package. But I don't need that, and hopefully, maybe a lot of you guys don't need it either, which case, we can do something like this. Okay, when we come back, we're gonna slot this out with a saw. So let's uh, measure the five inches again. And I'm just gonna mark the top. Yeah, five inches here, and say this is the top there, roughly. And if you actually put something of a balance up here, you can actually sort of get the idea of exactly about where that, that five inch mark is gonna be. And I'm, I'm not too worried about it because I kind of want to just come through with a slot. And if it's a little off, a little bit this way or that way, it's not really going to be a, it's not going to be a whole big deal. This is PVC. Yes, by the way, just in case anybody asks out there. I'm going to do this with the uh, Sawzall and just cut straight up here. And the reason for that is because if I do this on a, a regular power saw, I will hear nothing but complaints from the fun police about how dangerous that was or something. I don't have um, a specific blade for plastic, so I'm just going to go with something that's big, coarse, and disgusting, and rude. <laughs> and let's see how let's see how we can do with that. What do you think, up or down? Well, I would really like to cut it that way because the saw would even want to balance itself. But let's have a look and see. And there we go, we got the squeeze action. Now, before we go any further, we're gonna check this with our hands and just make sure that that's gonna grab that, that pole. So, let's stick the pole in here for a second on this end and close it up and, nope, it still doesn't do it, so. Okay, when we come back, we're gonna I'm gonna to have to take more material out, or I'm gonna to have to turn this and take some more out so that I've got more uh, more ways to grab. So let's turn it, and we'll just make another slice. I might even cut the slice back a little bit, so I don't really need that much, but let's see what we can do. Plastic is plastic, right? Yeah. Okay. Now, now we've got four ways to close this thing up, and hopefully, we'll see if that's going to grab the, uh, where are we here, yep, yeah, see if that'll grab the pipe, because we just need some friction, that's about all we need. All right, we're in there, 
I grab it. Yep, that's got it. So apparently we're gonna have to cut four. Cool. All right, and now that we've done all that, you know what we gotta do? Yeah, gotta do the other end. Same thing, okay. I'm gonna stop here and just cut these, and then when we come back, we'll have four, four slots. You know, one on each here, and one top, and one bottom here. Now that we have our four slots cut, and we still got our two pipe clamps, we're gonna start this process. Now, where was it? Here's the damaged area. Yeah, so we'll lay this in. And I want about half the pipe, so about half of this up here at this end. So just past this red mark, and we can say, put the pipe clamp on before we do this, and slide her on up to just to pass that a little bit. Okay. Now, I'm gonna tighten that up, but I'm gonna do, <laughs> I'm gonna shoot. I'm gonna use my impact gun, because it's, it's just faster and easier to do. And it'll, it'll grab it. Yeah, so. And I really want this uh, probably down towards the end, because I want a good grab on it, so. Yeah. There we go. Now, that is solid. Solid as a rock, as they say. Now this is where the fun begins. Is I gotta shoot this up the tube, and I gotta also get it plugged in. So if it doesn't plug in, we're gonna take it apart and do it over again. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Let's take this back out. Oh, shoot. Oh, that was neat. Oh, those, uh, hmm, there's a new problem. So, apparently we do have another problem here. And again, this isn't going to be a problem very long, but those, ah, okay, the, <laughs> damn, yeah, the, I drilled out those with 3 16 So I'm going to get a 3 16 uh, rivet and put it in here to lock this into place, because apparently the rivet was part of the assembly for that. Man, that is, that is some, uh, yeah, that is some cheap work, but let's do that, and when we come back, all right, so I got my rivet gun set up. Uh, I got my electrical plug back in, and we're just going to put a rivet in here. <clears throat> like that. And let's see what we can put on the bench a little flat. Be nice. Yeah. There we go. Now, hopefully, well, I think one should do it because that should hold that in place pretty good because of the type of support we're doing. So now, we're well back to this business with this and this. And now let's see if we can get connected with this long arm without the problems we were having. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Yep, ah, that felt good. Oh yeah, you feel it slide right in. So, so now we're just gonna lock this up. Heck, if this don't work, we'll just take it all apart, right? But, uh, I think this is this will be the trick. Okay, and that's tightened at that end now. So now this whole thing is technically one piece. Hoo ha! Yeah. And then all we got to do is screw the other end on. And I'll stand out here in the driveway somewhere. Now I'll, I'll move you guys back a little bit. Yeah, like like I said, it's ten feet long when it's all together. So it's a long assembly. And there we go there, and we'll put this together real quick. And hopefully, we've got a 10 foot, uh, yep, 10 foot chainsaw here. Now let's see if we can get her. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and I would just store it like this in my shed, because I have 10 foot uh, type pole cutters for other tree type things with the with the snippers and stuff that you pull a rope and all that. So this thing here will store about the same. And like I said, it was at a yard sale. There's the price, five bucks. And it's now completely usable for, at least for myself. If you don't have the room to store this, at least you could take this section off and shorten it up. And you'd only have about, looks like about maybe six or seven feet to deal with at that point, which is still pretty long. But uh, yeah, wow, what a lot of fun at, uh, Another fun day at uh, Coffee and Tools. <laughs> Man, but what a great deal. Oh, came with the battery too. 
The battery isn't that great. It's it's one of those real cheapy uh, plus ones from Ryobi. But you know, if it works, uh, I'll use this until it won't work. I guess so. Yep. So I charge the battery up and yep, doing the, doing its trick. So yeah, that's a hack. That's a tool hack. That's a shame. I really didn't want to approach this project this way, but. Uh, Cost-wise, we've got about three dollars and fifty cents in the pipe. We've got about two and a half dollars into the uh, stainless steel uh, pipe clamps that are two inch. I mention that because uh, inch and a quarter, or something like that, pipe with an inch and a quarter clamp will not work. Just write that down. So when you go to like Lowe's or Home Depot or someplace for your clamps, you want something that's that's two inch or smaller, you know, for for pipe clamps. And uh, hey, thank you for watching Coffee Tools. It's been another fun day around here.